In this video, we're gonna see how to install a CR Lawrence window in the slider door of a Sprinter van. And we're actually gonna see that it took the whole family to get the job done. So here's the uh, T-Vent window made by CR Lawrence that's gonna go on the slider door of the van. This is actually upside down. Um, here's the crank that opens this panel, and that's the vented window. This one's fixed. Um, and the kit doesn't come with much. It actually comes with screws that you're gonna use to fasten this bracket on the inside of the van while the window is on the outside of the van. And it's self-sealing through this rubber tab. So I don't have to put any chemicals on. I'm just, it's just gonna be literally a matter of snugging this up to the window and then putting the screws in, you know, and tightening them um, evenly around the window so that um, there are no leaks. So that is the CRL Lawrence window. Just like the rear windows that I put in the van, I bought this window on Amazon. It came really well packaged and I'll link to the product in the video. So here we are inside the van, and this is the sliding door, and this is where the window is going to go. So similar to what I did with the rear windows, we actually cut right around this edge. The CR Lawrence windows are designed to actually fit these vans, so you don't have to do any modifications. You just cut around here, and then we have the frame that will be on the inside of the van and the window on the outside, and that's when we simply tighten down the frame, and that's what holds the window in place. When we cut out this panel, we're gonna be cutting from the outside of the van. So the very first thing that we have to do is take our awl and our hammer, and we're gonna tap around the edge of this line, literally following the, the delivered um, form of the frame so that we can see the pattern on the outside of the van and we'll know where to cut. So you have to actually tap with some heaviness because you want to leave a dent on the outside. So and if you aren't sure how heavy to actually tap, what you can do is tap in the middle of one of these panels and then go outside and see if you can see the pattern. Now I've already done this for some other windows, so it's something that I'm familiar with and I can actually see them here. Um, you can't tap across these, um, you know, reinforced areas, but what we're going to do is make sure we tap in here and then on the outside when we draw our line, we'll just, we'll know where we're going to cut. We'll draw across there. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, we're gonna go check that on the outside now and then we'll come back in and if it's not good enough, we'll hit some spots, but let's go take a look at the outside. All right, we're on the outside of the van now and you can actually see here, if we get the angle right, you can see up there. Um, so if I feel like there's any spots where I'm not able to see the curvature enough, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, do a little more pounding from the inside. It looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna go in a few spots up here. It's not as, heavy as I would like it to be, maybe that corner, um, but it looks good after the first pass. Okay, we've finished tapping our, our perimeter so we can see what we're doing. The next thing is we're gonna take our marker and we're actually gonna hand draw. It's kind of like a connect the dots, dot to dot. And we're just gonna draw a line all the way around um, on the lines that we tapped out. All right, we've got our lines drawn around the van. The next thing we're gonna do is tape this out. And the reason that we're gonna tape, we're gonna put an edge of tape around here so that when we're running our jigsaw, we're not scratching this paint. All right, we've got the window all taped up. I did a little bit of extra down here because when I'm lifting the window in and out, um, I'll be by myself. And just in case I, you know, 
touch the van here. I don't want to have to do any other repairs. Um, but actually, none of this will show once the window is in. Um, but over here, the window is going to sit in this trough. Um, but you definitely want to tape over here and up at the top because that's um, that will show after the window is installed. And we don't want any scratches there. So I think we're all set. We've got enough room for the jigsaw to ride. Um, I think we're all set. Okay, before I start cutting a hole in the door for the window, I actually put a tarp up so that um, none of those metal shards go into the van. Um, we've already done all the rust repair and, uh, you know, those metal shards, they go everywhere when you're using the jigsaw. So you should do some kind of, you know, something to keep things out of the van. Houston, we have a hole in the van. Now it's time to do a dry fit and put this window in this hole using these. Okay, I'm trying to do my dry fit. It seems like the hole is the right size, but when I go put the window in, it won't work. Um, and so what I'm doing is I've put some, actually it's just play-doh around the edges here um, and I'm going to try to just see if this will work. I've seen other people do this but I feel like it's sticking in here somewhere so if there's a mar on the play-doh what I'm thinking is that'll help me understand where it's still not fitting. I know it goes in on this end because I can seat it but it's just hitting over here somewhere so that's my big plan. We'll see if it works. Okay, the play-doh trick worked. I was able to see that the window was actually hitting along this whole side um, and I tried a few different things. I tried some hand filing and that didn't work. It wasn't, you know, beefy enough. I tried my Dremel and that was a little bit better. But what I ended up doing was I finally got my grinder out and I got one of the sandpaper um, products, you know, that fits on the Dremel. It's a sandpaper disc. And that actually took it down pretty quick. And then I've done my dry foot and I know that the window fits in this frame now. So the next thing that you want to do is actually just do a final filing on the fine side. Um, you know, make sure all the metal is exposed, um, and mine is because I've been doing filing around the way. But then the final thing before you put your window in is clean up all the rust. And I actually stuffed um, paper towels down into the double layer here to keep some of that, um, that rust frag, not the rust fragments, but the metal fragments out. So the final thing I'm going to do now is just spray some Rust-Oleum flat white paint into my cup and apply it with my dauber all around the edge so that I don't have any rust buildup in the future. Then I'll put the window in. Well, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. So I am going to put the window in. Once it's in, I'm going to duct tape it in place. I've got that all staged. Then I'm going to run around to the inside of the van and screw it in. Wish me luck. in now
hate to put duct tape on these windows, but I also don't want the window to fall, obviously. So I know it looks like it's sticking out right now, and it is. And that is because you have to snug it in from the inside once you put the frame on it. Duct tape, don't fail me now. God bless duct tape. Wish I would have invented it. Okay, we'll see you on the inside. Okay, here we are on the inside of the van. I've got the frame. I pre-drilled all the holes. I've got my screwdriver and I've got my screws on a magnetic dish. Our next step is to put the frame on the window and then slowly but surely we're going to snug it into place. So I'm going to get a few screws in so this isn't banging. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm putting screws in every hole along the way and I'll go round robin and slowly tighten them. This frame is pretty thin and if you, you know, torque down too much you're going to bend this frame. But as I go around, it's going to cinch the window in tighter and tighter. So that's our next step now. So the window is in, but I don't like it because it's not flush. So this is not seated deep enough and, a, and it's especially bad. It's not too bad right down here. If I run my finger across, we're pretty even. Then back here, it starts to pop out again. Um, and it's got a really wide gap all the way up to the top here. And in fact, right there, it's supposed to be under that lip, but it's on the outside of it. So I'm gonna take it out and see if I can fix that and make it better. At this point, a couple things happened. I went back to the internet and referenced some of the videos that I had watched um, prior to the install. In one of them, I saw that the guy was able to just tighten down the window some more after it had sat for a while, especially after sitting it in the sun, it softened up the seal. So I tried that, and when that didn't work to my satisfaction, I recruited some help from my son-in-law, Dylan. Dylan is also the guy who saved me um, with the tie downs. So let's take a look at that. Do you feel comfortable, Dylan? It's coming. Yep. Oh, okay. So Dylan and I did remove the window and we checked the fit again and we could see that it was hitting actually to Dylan's left, the same place that it was hitting when I tried the Play-Doh trick. So I ground that spot down again and he and I then were able to get a better fit and working together, it was much easier for one person to hold the window while the other person screwed the window in, as you can see here. In the end, I was really happy with how the window turned out this time, and I was grateful for Dylan's help. This was a much easier job with two people.